Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can adjust the height of cranes. It's quite difficult to do because you actually need to be up high to be able to do it. Which obviously we don't always get that luxury of having a cliff to work from. I'm also going to let you know that you can no longer build off cranes and a lot of my older videos you could. See, when you are from the ground, you can't really do anything. You can sort of jump, that gives you a little bit more height, but you really need to be able to get up high somewhere. And it's best done from a cliff, but I'm gonna show you how you can do it without a cliff. It allows you to go higher. And it's quite tricky too. Now a crane can only go a maximum of five stories, I think it is. There is a limit. With mod API and the ultimate cheat menu, you can actually make it higher. Though the problem is it can go higher, but the crane, the platform itself won't go any lower. So it's only five levels. So that's how you can make it high naturally without having to build anything. You need to get up high. And just let you know, and this is it, you can't build off them anymore. I started working on something to try and make it work, though I haven't figured out a way to make it work very well. And that is to use the new wall method I've been playing with. So you build a simple stairs to make sure it's flat. Though before you build up, check the crane because it can block. That's being blocked and it's not even in the way. It's a big pain in the A-bomb. So you might want to save an exit so you don't waste logs doing this. So like that, that's clear. What you do is place a basic wall on top and then you just keep stacking them up. I don't know how long this glitch is going to be in the game that I've discovered it. It's probably been discovered before, but my channel tends to bring the attention of End Knight to the game and they fix a lot of the things that I seem to find. Okay, this is coming up on an angle. <laughs> so you could do something like this, build that little bit and then you can cancel the rest. That was actually blocking it, even though I hadn't completed it. So yeah, the reason I haven't done a video on this is because I need to figure out a way to make it much cleaner, but I'm just showing you now, so so maybe you could actually come up with an idea for it. So then you could place like a simple stairs, you could grab your tree bridge out, attach it, and somehow reach it so you can link it, but I can't reach it. Or you could just start from this side, and hopefully you don't take too much fall damage when you jump down. Hmm, that seemed to negate the fall damage. I wonder if there's something in that. So there you go. There's something in the meantime. Though I do plan to do more on it to try and figure out a way to get around it. Now, my original freaking video, because I'm getting sidetracked. Now, you've probably seen me do this before, but the way to do it, if you haven't got the advantage of a cliff, is to build scaffolding. And I'll quickly show you how to do it. So what you do is you get a rock wall out, click, and then you move to the side, and then you kind of aim and make sure it snaps. You go along, place it. It has to be relatively flat. See, this is flat. This is going to work. Otherwise, it won't automatically place them. Manually placing them like this is just near impossible. See a little snap? You wait for that little snap. Click. Done. You should only have to complete one side. If it doesn't work for one side, then it's not going to work at all. Get the custom roof out. Place it. And go up. Like that. You can cancel all the rest of the rock walls. You don't need them. See, that's only eight logs. So it's really cheap scaffolding. Very good for getting up high. See, as you go up, it goes higher. Now, if you want to go even higher, this is what you do. Because that wasn't going very high at all. As you do it again, another two walls, get it to snap. Make sure it snaps, that little snap. Get the custom roof out and go up like this. Kind of have to move around a lot. See that? It's weird. Now, that's getting very steep. But that's still only eight logs, even though it's bigger. Look, eight logs. There's eight just in that part there. It's crazy how this works, but I'm not complaining. It's a shame that we have to do this, though. It's just part of the mechanics. This probably won't be fixed. So this is getting quite steep. I can still move up it. Now place it from down there doesn't seem to work, so what you have to do is work your way up. Oh, careful falling off something like this. If you do, you probably will die. See, you keep moving the mouse or the controller around, and it'll just keep getting higher. Just keep fiddling with it, and eventually it will go up higher and higher and higher. So that's one way you can do it. Though a way that I'd probably recommend that's best, it's just gonna be a bit of a pain and you won't be able to see what you're doing, is to just place it and then go to somewhere really high. So I'm gonna run up to the snowy mountain, right up as high as I can go and see how far we can get with it. Let's try that out. There we go. Seems to have worked. So yeah, just go somewhere high and that way it saves you building scaffolding and it's Quite unpredictable, I think. 
Uh, just move the mouse around or the controller around you eventually you will get it. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.